So we can start now. The unit number two in this series of trainings will be about audio. So all the audio products on the LG uh, lineup are actually really diverse. You can have everything from a powerful sound system for your home to a really portable sound system with clarity and, and powerful sound to, to take with you anywhere, okay? So we'll address most of the features in all of the systems. Most, uh, also, a lot of the features are available in most of the products. It, it doesn't matter what the line of product is, so we will address the features while we're talking about the products in particular. So we can see now, as I was welcoming you, be welcoming you before, uh, we will be following the audio line of products of LG. Okay, this present this presentation is specifically for the Caribbean, and you can find all this information. Will be all, all this information will be posted on our YouTube channel. You will have it available for you, and all the information on the products you will be able to find it on our web page. Okay, you know that's lg.com slash cac underscore en. Okay, for English in Central America and the Caribbean. You can see the table of contents here, and we can continue. Before we begin, as I told you, remember this video will be available on YouTube, and that you can find further information of our products in the webpage of lg.com. Okay, that's lg.com slash cac underscore underscore en. So let's talk categories, okay? The categories of products in audio lines are divided in depending on the type of system. As I told you before, we're going to focus on the features more than in the products uh, itself. But one of the line of products is the sound systems, okay? So these are very powerful system, uh, very powerful base in the, in the system. It's usually used as a complement for like a home theater system for your TV. It's for having in the living room or maybe a hall where you can have a party or a reunion or something like that. They are not really portable at all because they will always have to have a power source and moving them will be quite a hassle, I would say, moving the speakers and the central unit and everything. So these systems are actually fixed. Are, are or are destined to be fixed in one location, okay? One of the features in most of our systems is the multi-Bluetooth platform, okay? So, I don't know if you have experienced this before, but sometimes a sound system only can handle one device uh, managing the music via Bluetooth. You can only have one phone connected at a time or one computer connected at a time. Most of our systems actually can have multiple devices controlling them via Bluetooth, especially the one bodies, the speakers, and the sound systems themselves, we were talking about them before. You can have up to three devices, uh, maybe phones or computers, as I was saying before, and using the LG X Boom app, you will be able to control even the playlist from device to device. You can share the playlist with the next feature that we're following that it's uh, multi jukebox okay? So the X-Boom the X -Boom app in your phone will allow you to share your music and like literally with everyone that is connected to the, to the, to the sound system. You can have your phone connected and two more friends can have your phone, their phone connected and you can just add a song to the playlist or put it in Kiwi and they will be able to see what song is following even if someone else put it in the, in the list. They don't need to have it on their phone, they don't need to uh, own, the phone, the, own the song at all. They will be able to see and edit the list and they can have a really, like it's more interactive actually, because the party is not only ruled by one person, three people can have the say on what music they're listening at some point, okay? 
Another feature, uh, so the multi jukebox, the multi jukebox uh, feature is present in the one body systems, the sound systems, and the speaker, and the Bluetooth, and the and the louder speaker product. Okay. The next function that we're seeing, the next feature, is actually also Bluetooth, is the wireless part of link. Uh, what is this? We're not talking now about what device is controlling the sound system. We're talking that you can connect several sound systems through Bluetooth. Why would we, why would we want to do that? Okay, so imagine that you have a sound system at your home but one of your friends has a one body system or a louder speaker system and you want to have a really big party none of you might have like the full power required to have like this really powerful sound but if the guy with the one body and the other friend with the louder speaker go to the house to the uh, to the house of the friend with the sound system they can actually be connected the, all the three systems via Bluetooth, okay? Some of our devices actually can handle up to 10 devices interconnected in the wireless part of link. This, allowed, this allows to have more power, uh, more watts of sound, and you can have even a surround system because you can have uh, one body on the end of the room, a louder speaker on the other end of the room, and the sound systems on the other opposite wall, and you can have a full environment of music. Okay, so the volume is low. I can see I can see in the comments. Let me check if it's on my end the issue. Mm, so I don't think it's on my end. So we can continue. Kemoya Tomlinson, you might want to to check if it's on your end the, the volume issue with the video. The next feature uh, I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to talk to you about is the TV sound sync. It is really useful. The customers always ask for this feature. Why? Okay. So uh, the sound systems the, and the one bodies have the cap have the capability to be connected to the to an LG TV without using cables at all. It's also through Bluetooth technology that they do this, and they just you you will use your control to your remote your remote control to just change the audio output to the one body or the sound system and the tv will do the rest you don't need cables you won't have a hassle or or i don't know a mess of cords behind or under your tv it will be a really clean installation and it's all wireless you can do this with the sound systems and the one body systems from LG with LG TVs, okay? It's a really interesting feature and it's, it's actually really helpful on POS, on point of sale, because if you're pitching uh, sales for, uh, for an LG TV, but that person also would like to have a sound system and they're trying to decide on other brand, you can use this feature to convince them to also choose an LG sound system or an LG soundbar or an LG one body because they will say like so I don't have to be connecting all these different cords to my TV and have a mess uh, on my wall it won't be necessary so you can use this to even further the, the sales the party accelerator the party accelerator feature is actually found on the on some of the LG sound systems and all the one body systems. It's just a lever. You can see in the images that is a lever that will upbeat the music and start uh, the with the with the proper devices. Some of these devices might have uh, multicolor lighting, so this party accelerator will also enhance the lighting the lighting present in the room. Uh, it's really enjoyable because if you're having like a party and you want to up the volume and give a kick to the party and have everyone going like woo, you can use that lever to have that moment real quick, really easy. Okay.
So that's with the that's with the sound systems. We are going to talk about the one body systems now. The one body systems are actually as powerful and sometimes even more powerful than the than, than the regular sound systems. But they have a feature that trumps them, at at my perspective. It is the fact that they are really portable. They are all, as their name is saying and implying, in one body. You have the speakers, the bass, the console, the controls. Everything is just one body that you can take everywhere. They they don't have a battery. They are not portable, but they are really easy to transport from side to side and you just need a power source and you will be you will be set to go for a party. So I, I see some comments also Angel Bracos, morning, morning Angel, welcome. David Seidel is okay, he's answering to Kimoya. Is the volume any better? I'm I'm wondering if it's let me check. So I don't, I don't think the volume is low. I hope everyone can hear me properly, okay? So one of the features in the one body system that it's also found in the sound systems is the blast horn. So all the, all the LG sound systems and one bodies have this specially folded uh, conduct for the, for the bass that you can see in the image how the sound actually falls inside the speaker and gives a better acoustic pressure to the sound, uh, enhancing the, the accuracy of the bass and enhancing the power also. Another feature found in the one bodies and also in the sound system is the karaoke star. What is the karaoke star? So I don't know if you guys have actually done karaoke. I actually like karaoke a lot. So imagine that you are at a regular party and some uh, some friend actually has the idea to start having karaoke on one of the songs you were listening. You wouldn't have to go to YouTube or go somewhere to find the karaoke version of that song. You just need to use that function in the device, in the system, turn it on, and the system will automatically automatically reduce the vocals of the song, allowing you to sing with the song without having the original singer on the background, okay? So this is a really useful feature. It's actually really entertaining because at any given moment on a party, someone can grab the mic, push the button, and start singing the song. Uh, it, it, it works reducing uh, both channels, left and right, on a stereo song and just eliminating the vocals. Is output audible enough to hear on my end? Okay, I am really worrying now about the volume of the audio. I can't turn it any louder. On. Maybe it's because I had something else connected but I hope it works better now. Okay, so if you have any questions so far about the sound systems, one body systems, karaoke start, I will be available. Also, the promoters will be available on the comments to answer those questions. Better now. Okay, it's apparently that I have uh, my headset connected. I hope it's better now for everyone else. Great. Sorry about that then. Another feature related to Karaoke Star is the vocal effect, okay? So at any, at any point on a party that you start doing karaoke, you can add vocal effects. All of the systems, uh, including sound systems and one bodies have the vocal effects for, for the karaoke feature. Uh, I mean, you can have up to 18 different vocal effects from bass, soprano, helium, and being like really funny on a song, robotic. You can actually have a virtual duet with a man or a woman. It's really fun to use. I mean, it's the perfect entertainment for a party. And you can have it on a sound system or on a one body, as I told you before. Much better. I'm glad it's much better, Kimoya. <laughs> Sorry again. 
So the next feature is the crossfader control. So if anyone has DJ friends or know a DJ or are a DJ, you will be entertained by this feature. So it's part of the pro DJ, DJ wheel. You can see the wheels in the top of the one body system that is in the picture. Also, uh, I believe one of the models of the sound system also have this feature. Not only you can mix and scratch any record that you want, you can also cross fade between songs. So you can have two different sound sources like USB devices, like a memory stick or something like that. And you can cross fade the song and just shift from one song to another and do it really smoothly like if you were like a professional DJ and you will need like a complicated console you can do it all from the sound systems or the one body systems okay I, I talked to you before with the party accelerator feature about the multicolor lighting so most of the models of one body all the one body models have multicolor lighting some of the models of sound system have multicolor lighting and it's actually a, a really good thing to have because you at any given moment if you're having a party in your apartment you just turn off the lights and turn on the multicolor lighting and you get a really good mood on the party and you don't have to go clubbing or anything else you can have a really intimate time with your friends and still have an awesome time As I told you before, the one body systems are actually the ones powerful enough to compare to a sound system, but are easy to transport. So you can, they have wheel, wheels, as you can see in the pictures, and you can just wheel them out wherever you need. You just need a power source, plug it in, and it will be ready to go. Uh, when, I, when I was talking to you about the crossfader feature, I told you that you could cross songs between two different sound sources, like a memory stick. You can see this also with the dual USB play and mix. So you will have actually two different USB ports that you can use the Pro, wheels, the, uh, wheel, the Pro DJ wheels to mix the songs from one to the other. Not only that, you can actually record these mixes that you make live on the party and the fades and everything else, record them and store them in a USB unit. See if you are actually an amateur DJ or something like that. It's actually pretty useful because if you are hidden by an inspiration at some point, you can just scratch, mix, store, save and share with your friends, okay? How are we doing so far? Does anyone have any question on sound systems, on one bodies? Is everything being clear? So Marlin is saying, I will be able to preview the song from the USB before fading into it. Uh, uh, in, in a way, no, <laughs> because that's not how fading works. But if you connect like the headset to the system or something like that, you can actually know where are you fading to while you are fading into it. But the sound system will only put out the result of the mix or the fading that you're doing. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a really good question because that, that's mainly what DJs do. They must know what song and at what time of that song they're fading into. So you can do that, but you will need to have extra hardware to do so at the moment. The next uh, category of product that we're talking about is the louder speakers. So the louder speakers are not as small as a Bluetooth speaker, but they are more powerful and still very portable. Okay, they're really versatile. They have handles you can take anywhere, even if the, the one model that, it, that it's a little heavy actually have a telescope has a telescopic telescopic handle and wheels that you can that use them to take anywhere you will like okay so let's see some of the features on this louder Javier, Javier Estrada is asking does the TV have to have Bluetooth to connect to the stereo via Bluetooth yeah actually but the good thing is that all the LG TVs that will be compatible with TV sound sync actually have Bluetooth has Bluetooth so other TVs from other brands are not compatible with LG TV Sound Sync 
but having Bluetooth, they can use our LG sound systems as a, as a sound out, output system, okay? It's just that wouldn't be as convenient and easy to change from source to source on the TV, on the TV remote. Yes, Elizabeth is commenting that that's a legitimate DJ function. David Sayville is saying, yes, Javier, TV needs to have Bluetooth, exactly. So the TV needs to have Bluetooth. The difference between connecting on, on an LG TV or another brand TV is the convenience on the connection and the changing from the audio output system, okay? That's the only detail on that respect. We can go back to the louder speakers. As I was saying before, they're really versatile. You can have the music anywhere, everywhere, whenever you want, because not only they're portable, they also have a built-in battery, as we can see now, I guess. No, not yet. But this is the telescopic handle I was talking to you about. This is a, one, of the model, uh, one of the models of the other speakers. I will show you a summary on it later. They are actually really easy to transport, and they are not heavy at all. Okay, as I was saying about the built-in battery, they're not only portable, so, uh, I mean, they can actually last for four hours of uninterrupted playback, and the RL2 actually has 15 hours of uninterrupted playback in with the built-in battery. That's the one with the telescopic handle I was talking to you about, the RL2. That's the more powerful in the uh, louder speaker category of products. So these are the louder models. So what, as I was telling you before, this is like the summary on it. Uh, you have the RM1 PA speaker system, the RL2, and the RM2 system. The RM2 is actually more powerful than the RL2. Sorry about that mistake. But the RL2 is the one that has the telescopic handle and the wheels that you can use to take anywhere, okay? They all are actually uh, compatible with tripods also, as you, as you saw in some of these pictures before. Let me show you again. Yes. So we even, so we even have some promotions on point of sale where if you buy, buy one of these louder speakers, you get a tripod. They are really useful because you will, well, uh, it's obvious, you know, having in the party a tripod will help you to have the music closer to the ears of the people than lower and closer to the ground. So it is, it is really nice to have a tripod for the speaker that, that you are using for a party. The next category of products is the soundbar category, okay? No, sorry, Bluetooth speakers. So Javier Strade is asking uh, which TV have the Bluetooth built in, okay? So all the, all the models of LG TVs from 2019 up to date have actually Bluetooth built in as a feature. Uh, but I'm not quite sure if 2018 all the models, I don't think they do. But from, 20, uh, from 2019 to date, they do. So, next category, uh, Bluetooth speakers. And what's the difference between, between a Bluetooth speakers and the louder speakers? So the Bluetooth speakers are actually a lot smaller, more portable. They have uh, a, a longer lasting battery duration, but the sound has an even better quality, and we're going to talk about it now. If you have any questions, remember to just use the comments. I will be available to answer those, and the partners on the chat will do the same. So how does these Bluetooth speakers have better audio quality? is thanks to Meridian Technology. What is Meridian Technology, you will ask? It's actually a third-party company. Since 1977, they have been producing sound systems with a high resolution quality, with higher definition vocals and enhanced bass, 
and certified on it. They use a technology called DSP, uh, DSP that is Digital Signal Processing. So we're going to talk how that works in a technical aspen, aspect uh, on a further note. But remember, Meridian technology is what makes the Bluetooth speakers and the soundboards way, way, way better than our competition in, ter in terms of sound quality. So I have some questions. Is Stacy and Thomas asks, what makes LG Audi stands out from the other brands without getting too much into the technical, just the first go to point? Okay, so that's actually the last point that we're going to touch on this presentation. Just hold that question right there and we're going to talk about USPs, unique selling points. You can use this to sell our brand over the competition because it's unique to us. Meridian technology, getting back to it. So what specifically we can enjoy with Meridian technology, you, you have two uh, buttons up the, on the top of the Bluetooth speakers. One for clear vocals and one for enhanced bass. So it's actually just like it sounds. You can use any of these features to enjoy clear vocals on songs that you would like to hear, like a ballad or pop songs that you enjoy the vocals or enhanced bass if you want some powerful rhythms and beats on your uh, on your Bluetooth speakers. So that's actually really convenient because not everyone actually likes to be, uh, they don't hear me, they don't listen to music because of the vocals and some people don't listen to music because of the beats. It depends on the prefer preference of the person using the device. And Meridian technology actually delivers for both of those preferences. Another feature of our Bluetooth speakers is actually the Qualcomm APTX HD audio. It is, they are all certified to support, uh, how, how can I explain this? It's actually a certification that a Bluetooth device can deliver a 24-bit music quality over Bluetooth. So they are certified not only with Meridian technology to have clear voices and enhanced bass, actually Qualcomm APTX uh, certifies that our devices have actually a high resolution audio through Bluetooth. Not every device is this detail on Bluetooth technology. Actually, on the beginnings of Bluetooth technology, the one of the inconvenience people pointed out, it was you lose quality of the audio while connecting on YouTube, on, on Bluetooth. Uh, our devices actually don't have this issue because a 24-bit music quality is actually the top of the market. That's actually one of our USP, as Stacy Ann was asking. Our quality of audio is the best that anyone can find on a Bluetooth speaker or on a portable Bluetooth device, okay? A wireless link, as I was telling you before, for the one body, the sound system, and the louder speakers, all our devices support a Bluetooth connection, and you can connect up to two Bluetooth devices to control one of our Bluetooth speakers, okay? So this person, these two people actually can use the same XBoom app to share a playlist and every other function that we saw before, these Bluetooth speakers are able to do so. So this is what we were talking about in the APTX HD sound certification. Uh, as you know, Bluetooth only transfer data as a computer on bits and, and kilobytes and everything else. If you transfer through Bluetooth a really detailed file on a 24-bit uh, set of audio and the Bluetooth connection doesn't support this type of resolution, it will lose uh, it will lose resolution, it will lose a lot of quality. As you can see on the lower end of the screen, any any phone that can actually deliver a 24-bit audio Bluetooth connection, 
doesn't mean that the device on the other end is actually receiving a 24-bit audio resolution. It can be, as you can see in that speaker, a 16-bit audio resolution, and you will lose a lot of quality, as you can see in the graph. But our, speaker, our speakers do receive the full information. They do receive the full 24-bit audio resolution and have the best HD audio on the market. Okay. Another, another feature on our speakers is actually separated between the PK3 and the PK5 and 7. The PK3 is actually water resistant. It's certified IPX7, meaning that it can withstand a depth of one and a half meters for 30 minutes. It is certified on that. But that doesn't mean that <laughs> just at one meter and a half, if you take it any lower, it will break, it will be damaged. That doesn't mean that. It will resist for longer and deeper, but it is certified that, will, that it will resist for one and a half meters during 30 minutes. Meaning that will also withstand humidity, slashes, and everything low, and, and, that, and everything easier than that, I mean. But the fact is, that the PK3 is the smallest and the less powerful of our Bluetooth speakers. The other two, the PK5 and PK7, are actually bigger and more powerful, but they do not have IPX7 certification. They have an IPX5 certification that covers splashes, covers uh, humidity, covers like semi-submersion. They can be all the way submerged. And in the same way that the uh, PK3, they are, they are certified that they, will, that they will withstand splashes and, and humidity. That doesn't mean that they will break just at the moment of submersion. They will resist some of it, but they are not certified that they will do. Okay? So this is important to make a difference to the customer at the point of sale because not everyone knows the difference between water resistant and waterproof. The PK3 is waterproof, meaning that it can be submerged, but the, I, but the PK7 and the PK5 are just water resistant for splashes, humidity, partial submersion, and stuff like that, okay? If you are having any questions, don't, uh, don't be shy. Feel free to, to write on the chat, okay? So we can keep going. That's that on the Bluetooth speakers category. We can go now to the soundboard systems category. So the soundboard systems are actually destined to be a complement of a TV system. You can use it also as an entertainment hub for your home. But our main feature to deliver to the customers on soundbar systems is that this is the smart sound, okay? So they not only have an LG TV sound sync, they also have Bluetooth and they also have Chromecast and some of our models of soundboard actually have Google Assistant built in and, and all of the others have our Google Assistant compatible, okay? So we can see on detail now. As I was saying, Google Assistant, the, the SL10 model actually is the first Google Assistant soundbar compatible. You can just con configure your Google Home with the soundbar and every device that you have connected to your Google Home will be able to be controlled using the soundbar. And you can just stand next, next to the soundbar and go like, hey Google, turn on the TV or turn on the lights on the main room, depending on how you configure your smart home. So technology has gotten to the point that doesn't matter the brand of the product or anything else. If you have the interconnectivity of Internet of Things that Google Assistant offer, you can, ha you can actually have a smart home with no effort at all. And Google Assistant technology on our soundbars is really effective on that matter. So Marlon Lewis is asking, is the Qualcomm aptX available on all LG audio devices or just the specific divided devices? The ones certified with aptX Qualcomm HD audio are the Bluetooth speakers. Okay. 
that's a detail on that. We can keep going on soundbars. I don't know if you guys know what Chromecast is. I have a Chromecast system and it's actually <laughs> really great because I mean, uh, the Chromecast systems is actually produced by Google. It's actually like a dongle that you can put on, your, on the back of your TV and turn a basic TV into a smart TV. It will allow you to be uh, able to go into apps like Netflix, uh, Spotify, and everything else. Having said that, uh, now you will have Chromecast integrated into your LG soundbar, meaning that you can just go into your phone and go to any app like uh, Google Play or Spotify and press reproduce on Chromecast. It will show you every device with Chromecast on your home and you can select the soundbar and it doesn't matter even where you are at your home, it will start playing the music. The difference between Chromecast and Bluetooth connection is actually that Chromecast doesn't use a Bluetooth connection. Chromecast uses your Wi-Fi network to do the connection. So you can be on the lower side of your house and the soundbar can be on, on the top floor or anything. If everything is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, the Chromecast connection will handle it. You will see the device, doesn't matter how far you are from it. A feature of our top end soundbars is the Dolby Atmos sound. Dolby Atmos certifies that our soundbars are actually top of the line on, on surround sound. It actually certifies that the soundbar gives you a cinematic experience on the audio end. It gives you a 360 degrees enveloping sound and you can actually feel it because if you close your eyes while you are looking at the TV and while you are hearing the TV, you can actually feel things over your head, over your head behind you and you don't need a home theater system for it. It actually envelops entire, the entire room with the sound. Uh, the, same, the same on high resolution audio applies to our soundbars. It is uh, audio resolution of 40, uh, 24 bits at 192 kilohertz of sound. It's the closest in the market to real life sound. Okay, so you have to have that in consideration. We have that to top on the on the competition. Not only they have, uh, not only they have a virtual surround sound. You can also buy a complement of wireless speakers. It's called the SPK85 uh, complementary speakers, and you can set up a, uh, some kind of home theater uh, with your LG soundbar. One of our models, actually top of the line, is the SL9 Ye Ye Sorry, it's Spanish and English. SL9YG. You can set it up in different ways. You can set it up horizontally or vertically under your TV. If you're having a wall set up for your TV, you can set up vertically and it will look amazing as you can see in the picture. This soundbar also has Meridian technology, so it also applies the clear vocals and the enhanced bass and all other on all the other high resolution audio features that we were talking about before and that's it on all the categories as stacy M was asking we can see the key usps in the moment of uh, of talking with a customer that we can that we can use to top a sale on other brands just remember connectivity portability and sound quality. All of our systems actually have some sort of these three, uh, of these three features. Connectivity, because all, all of them have multi-Bluetooth, some of them have party link, and some of them even have Chromecast, as we saw on the soundbar. Portability, not so much on the sound systems, but the one bodies, the louders, the Bluetooth speakers, and not so much on the soundbar, as I was saying but they are all really easy to transport. You will always have a, an option of portability inside the audio category. And sound quality, as, as we were talking before, the Meridian technology, the DSP 
uh, digital sound processing and the aptx hd audio certification they are all really powerful tools at the moment of sales pitch because people actually look for sound quality when they're buying a sound system you don't want to buy a sound system that when you get home is actually sounding worse than your phone you know so we really need to uh, make a point on it on the quality of the sound of all our systems that are actually high on the market i see some comments meridian technologies is available at one body sound bars and beat and bluetooth speakers also yeah so remember music moves your world and if we're having any other questions we can address them now if you happen to have questions later for the people watching this video later on maybe not live you can feel free to contact our promoters and the rest of our team and we will be able to answer any question that you may have on this subject okay this video will be available on youtube obviously because you will be watching it on youtube and we're glad that you're participating today with us uh if nobody else has any questions I don't think. How did you guys feel? Did you like this content? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it interesting, useful? I might be having some lag on the on this end. Thank you, Stacy. Okay, glad you enjoyed it. So yes, uh, I hope it was just full information. As we were saying, um, feel free to contact us and join us for the next learning with LG Unit. Uh, we will be letting you know when we will have the live streaming on that. Jamila Kassin says hi. Thank you for the presentation. It was visually appealing and useful. Thank you. Thank you, Yamila. I really appreciate that. Bas de Obirey, how soon will Trinidad be getting these new products? That's a really good question. We will have to be consulting with the, uh, with the product management for that and the CAM for Trinidad. Thank you for accommodating us. It's my pleasure, okay? Feel free to contact promoters and training team and we'll be, we will be more than happy to answer any questions. Remember that LG promotes devices with sound quality, absolutely. So always the key USP at the point of sale to top other brands is our sound quality. They can, if they have the ability to show and, and, and have a demonstration of the products on point, on point of sale, always go to that. Always show the customer the sound quality that they will have if they acquire an LG sound system. It was very informative, says Angel, eh, eh, Angel Bacchus. Thank you, Angel. Michael Cummins from ATL asks question. With the response to voice, to voice commands, some customers are concerned about privacy. Yes, that's usually a concern, but I mean, that depends on the setup for the customer it will actually be really helpful if you inform the customers of for good practices on privacy. So maybe have, uh, on the case of a Wi-Fi network, have a very, a very powerful password. If you are having like conjoined walls and you are and you fear that someone can use your devices just by using voice command, you can actually configure your, your devices to respond to certain voice commands. And it really depends on the use the customer will have for the, for the device. Uh, so our partners are responding for Jamaican Marlon Lewis and for Trina Elizabeth Kirtan. Okay, that's absolutely correct. So it was a pleasure for me to share this time with you and see you on the next time. I hope you will join me. I hope you have enjoyed this. Remember to stay safe remember to give you 100 to protect the people around you around you okay